Hi, this is Dio. This is the fourth lecture of the Dio Navi Surgical Menu series, How to Take a Scan of a Metal Artifact Case. Today we are going to learn about how to scan if there are metal artifacts such as metallic prosthesis in the oral cavity. Just like the normal case, this can be done in two methods, using an intraoral scanner or using a plaster cast. Both are required to have a marker or resin attached on the scanning area. Therefore, before learning the scanning process, let's take a closer look at how to attach a marker. The marker must be attached on the arch where the surgical guide is going to be placed. They should be attached on three areas spread out in the oral cavity except for on the treatment area. Usually, if there are metal artifacts all over the teeth, you can divide the teeth into three areas, A, B, and C, and attach the markers in each area. Here are three steps in attaching a marker. First, dry the closer surface. Next, apply sufficient amount of flow resin and attach the marker. Third, irradiate for about 10 seconds with a curing machine. After attaching the marker, the next step is scanning. This is a scanning method using TRIOS, an oral scanner. Scan with TRIOS with a marker or resin attached. Then, take the CT with the marker or resin attached on the same place. Now, remove the resin or marker and scan the antagonist and the bite. Let's take a look at the video.
give you a scanning tip. If there is a temporary crown, it will not show on the CT. So in this type of situation, you have to take the CT and scan with a marker attached on the temporary crown. The following is a scanning method when you don't have an intraoral scanner. This is a way to scan using a plaster model. First, you have to take the CT scan. And when you do, you have to take caution of the following. CT must be taken with a resin or marker attached. You must be careful so you don't miss any resin or marker area. And take the CT with an open bite. Secondly, you have to take an impression. And this is how you take an impression. First of all, take the impression on the working area and fabricate a plaster model of it. At this moment, resin or marker must be attached. Now take the impression of the opposing antagonist, and then take the bite impression. Rubber impression material is recommended to be used on the working site. Let's look at this process in a simple video. This is how you take a scan after attaching a marker. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for listening. This was Theo.